What event are we going through now? The defender's heart greets you with unexpected liveliness beyond the walls of the tavern. The once bustling and festive city lies in ruins, but somehow none of that can be felt within these walls. People in the room are talking, laughing, raising toasts, even softly singing. Doesn't look like typical tavern revelry, but nor is it the grim vigilance of recent days. Uh, let's see. Oh no, uh, Tr Trendelev was killed. And, and then, well, yeah, then she may have fallen in. But I have to find the one spot, and I've walked around, and I keep obviously missing it. Missing it, missing it. Uh, Sila waves to you. She is sitting at a table with the trio you met previously, the knight, the half-elf, and the red-headed halfling. Hail, Jia. Come, let me properly introduce you to Elan... Jana and Curl, the fearless warriors of the League of the Inspiring Cart. Sila pushes a mug of beer towards you and speaks softly. It was me who convinced Irabeth to use what Jana, Curl, and Alan found for a little party. If you look in, out the window, you might think the end times have come and the abyss has devoured us all. I thought some simple pleasures, good food and good company, could help keep the gloom at bay. Sila looks at you hesitantly as if trying to gauge your reaction. <laughs> Have I ever turned down merrymaking and good company? Let's raise our mugs, my friends. That's, that's more me. Wait, I'm not ready for another toast yet. It's, it's not even day. And I drink with paladins, knights, and swordmasters. Hey, are we g just going to sit here and, with grim faces? I say we get to know each other a little better so we have a better reasons for toasts. Um, what about you, Curl? How did you end up among the condemned? I just what everyone else was doing. I grew up in the slums where everyone stole a little or maybe smuggled or guarded stashes. So Curl stares into the mug gloomily. But I never killed anybody and I never did anything really bad. I got caught stealing and when they made me choose between prison and the condemned, well, of course, I didn't want to go to prison. I'm not that good a fighter. But as Norgorber is my witness a thief can also be useful in a war against demons i've always been a good scout i can sneak around under the noses of any monster but i don't know where my friends are now got separated when the demons rampage through the city chin up friend whoever you were in the past you're our friend now and a crusader your skills will be useful to us. You'll see. Um, tell me about uh, you and your order, Elon. Elon of the Hound, Hound Hearts. As stories go, it's not very entertaining. I was born far to the south in Endoran. I lost my parents early, led the life of a simple mercenary, but often questioned the path I had chosen. I'm proud of my sword skills. I enjoy training and drills, and I'm not afraid of battle. But risking my life for coin, it takes a special mindset to choose that lot with no regrets. You have to want to risk your blood. I saw too many of my friends die, and I wondered if it was worth it. Never is. Never is. So in the end, I decided to choose another path. Now. If I'm going to lay down my life, at least it will be for a good cause. That's how I ended up in Mindef and became a squire for the Hound Hearts. It's a small order, but tradition it never has more than 12 members, and a new member is only knighted after one of the elders dies. We patrol the lands along the Wardstone line and provide aid to travelers and settlers. Unfortunately, death is, a common, is common among the Hound Hearts. 
I became a full knight two years ago after laying my mentor to rest. But I'm content with my choice. My place is among the Crusaders. Um, have you been serving in the Eagle Watch for long, Jana? I summed up four days before the demon attack. Am I lucky or what? Jana lets out an overly <laughs> boisterous laugh. I'm an apprentice of a famous fencing master, Mivnan, Mivan, and I learned a thing or two from him. Believe me, I soon got bored of fighting off bandits and getting involved in the petty squabbles of bickering river kingdoms. I wanted a proper challenge, and you can't find a better place than Mendev. And what do you know? The moment I arrived, the demonic invasion began. My, my father would say, that's no accident. Fate brought me here. Uh, Sila, did you call me over just because, or is something the matter? I, did, I didn't just want to talk about today's celebration. You see, Alan is in trouble. I want to help him, and I don't know anyone else in the city I can turn to. His fellow knights were all wounded in battle. Elon shakes his head. Bad idea, sister. I told you, I don't want to bother anyone else with my problems. I need to handle them on my own. Oh, come on. Hiding your sadness from your friends is no way to live. Tell me more. The young knight shakes his head. In all truth, I do not wish to impose. My problems are just minor troubles. A paladin of Ayamade and her friends certainly have more important things to do, especially now that Kinnebrus has been overrun by demons. I've learned anything if I've learned anything in life, it's that there's nothing minor about good and evil. Sila begins seriously, but then a smile lights up her face. Take the three of you, for example. It seems like all you did is was save one card from some imps, but look how many people are happy now. That feat will never be sung of in songs, but who knows, maybe thanks to this one joyous hour of peace and rest, the defenders of Kinnebras will find the strength to protect the city. Sila catches her breath. I talk too much, don't I? Well, Sir Elon, I want to help you, and my reputation as a holy warrior of Iomade won't suffer if it's more of a minor adventure than a glorious feat. The knight sighs, seems a little embarrassed. All right, I'll explain. The life of a crusader has given me more than just purpose and a chance to serve a righteous cause. When I abandoned the life of a mercenary and came to Mendev, I gained something else I never expected. It's here that I met, may all the ladies here forgive me, the finest girl in all the world. It's a miracle she found any love in her own heart for a bungler like me. But I'm not about to let this miracle go. Not even the demon lord Discari and all his demons, uh, demon army can stand in my way. Lucky me, luckily, my beloved is now safe away from Kinnebras. For a half a year, I've been getting up my courage to propose to her. I even ordered a ring from Derek Sunhammer, the best jeweler in Mendev. Independent knightly orders live mostly off donations, and I'm not what you would say rich, but I so want to make Kiana happy. Oh, I took it took me three months to find a jewel the same shade as her eyes, and twice as long to scrape together enough money. Master Derek's work was worth it, but I lost the ring during the demon attack and I'll probably never find a worthy replacement. The ring is most likely at the Hound Hearts camp outside the city. Elan and his friends didn't have time to pack up their camp. First the demons ambushed them and then they rushed off to help Kinnebrus. I think we should at least go there and check. Not right now, of course, but once the situation in the city is under control. Fine, I'll help. Sila puts her hand on, on your shoulder. Thanks for agreeing to help. Ilan is a good man and a true knight, and I think the world should repay those who are so devoted to doing good. 
Let's help him so he can propose to his beloved the way he wanted. Sila, I hope you can convince Arabath to let me go with you when you do this. I don't want to be parted from my friends. Of course, and the League of Inspiring Cart has come together in this dark hour. We must continue onward together. Okay. The League of the Inspiring Cart. I don't, uh, I wonder whether you can still do all the quests in Kinnabris after you first left the city. Um, I haven't left, but, um, I don't know. I, I'm assuming we can't leave until we pretty much do all the quests in here and defeat the demon somehow, because I believe I got several quests that go outside the city, but I don't believe I can actually go out the city yet, as far as I know. I haven't tried either. Okay. Let's go scout this out. See what happens. And bye. I always forget to hit a save, hit F5. Let's purge the demons from the Tower of Estrad. Okay. Well, let us see what we can do here. Kinris burns the city that should never have fallen. Fate shows no mercy. Clouds may veil the stars, but nothing can hide the light in someone's soul, and I see the light in you. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with you against evil. I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I feel the warmth of my kindred flame. My sister, we will help you. Okay. Interesting. Can I talk to the vision of the Herald? Okay. Nope. Locked from the inside. Well then. Is that... None will escape my all-seeing by the fountain. Flora, watch the city crumble. Copy of the infants and boss to buy it. Young Queen Galfrey. We stand shoulder and shoulder against evil. Clouds might be all the stars. Okay, that's interesting. So we're just looking here to see a long, world long gone, a thematic collection of various artists works on every day. Seat of Grief. That's the edge. Okay. One of the Cloudy, the Colossal, Tarragon, and Laurel. They don't stay up very long. Okay. Well, let us go this way. Oh, Faxon, the red-skinned, long-haired tiefling raises his pain, pain-filled eyes to you. Huge magical brand stands on his chest, freshly burned into his skin. The flesh around the brand is in flame and has an unhealthy-looking hue. Hey, stop. Who are you? Crusaders? Well, well, well. I was looking to add a couple more crusader heads to my collection and all. Why well, just assume we're crusaders, though? Where'd you get that idea, huh? I mean, do we look like crusaders? 
Um, all right. Tifil noticed the scared uh, sacred symbol of Iomade gleaming on the paladin's chest and says, I suppose that explains it. Okay, can we intimidate? We have a plus 13. Of course, Ember, the, the little one, who, who, who acts like a, a really nice little girl, is my most intimidating person of all. Disgusting filth, get out of here before I kill you all. Let's try it. Okay, what do you guys think? Pass or fail? Pass or fail? Ugh. Pass. Roll of 27. Very nice. It seems that Kilas took all the most intimidating and bloodthirsty warriors with him. Only the cowardly rabble have remained behind with Faxon. Oh. <laughs> oh, experience. I got experience for that. I got a whole 24 experience for making him flee. Half of them, mostly, uh, usually with tabletops, if you you get the experience for points for defeating them after the encounter, even if they leave. In my experience, I don't know if they've done that to this this game or not, but half of them quickly turn to flee the tower and, with Flaxen rebuking profanities, following them as they go. I can kill you right now, or I can give you a few more minutes of life if you answer my questions. The Tiefling shoots you a vicious grin. You won't be getting out of here alive either way, so why not? Let's have a chat. Uh, yes, evil mastermind monologue time. <laughs> I'm the evil mastermind and I'm just going to tell you my whole plan as we stand here because I don't think you're getting out alive. Uh, you don't look like a museum worker. Really? That's what I'm going to say? Uh, what did you forget in the museum? You look awful. What's wrong with your tattoo? There's. Okay, who are you? You don't look like a museum worker. I am Faxon, servant of Baphomet, the ranking member of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth. In this city, uh, and new master of this tower, and you better watch your mouth, or else my curses will whip your soul to flaming shreds. The cultists laugh are deafening as they show their approval of all the torments Faxon promises you. The demons spit at you and snarl insults, mixing common with the foulest words from the language of the abyss. Time for an experiment. A sheet of paper appears in Ninio's hand. Mr. Cultus, allow me to ask what exactly will you do to us when you inevitably vanquish us? I'll curse your soul, skin you alive, and piss on you while you lie there dying. One two, three threats, and all of them already on my list. Nino checks the page and says, This specimen of demon worshipping is utterly devoid of ingenuity. I am not certain that this superior would even notice the death of an underling as lacking in imagination as he. You filthy scum, I'll break your legs. So they bend the other way. But you won't be able to scream because I'll cut off your ears and shove them down your throat. Well, technically, I won't be. Uh, I'll still be able to hear and scream because you're not really going to stop my. You never mind. I'm. Dated. He's an idiot too. But that's beside the point. Oh no, that's better. That's much better. Her pencil dances across the like two totally new threats for the encyclopedia. I thank you for I thank you for your contribution, Mr. Cultus. What did you forget in the museum? For the last three months, this tower has served as a cover for me and my servants. I set up my base in the cellar of the local museum and smuggled an entire regiment of my Templars into the city. It's the ideal place for the secret hideout. 
The museum was left in the charge of a doddering old man who can hardly remember his own name. When our lord struck Kinnebrus, we plunged a blade into the crusader's back, and a glorious fight it was. Now Lord Xanthir was ordered us to strip Kinnebrus of everything that might be of interest to him, and move it from the city. He is a great master of the occult and magical arts, and his museum is chock full of all kinds of relics that can prove very interesting to study. <laughs> no, she's uh, she's actually being very serious. She is, um, how shall I put this lightly? She's totally insane. Um, you look awful. What's wrong with your tattoo? Gives, the tiefling gives you a hateful glare. Lady Miango was displeased with me. She branded me with this rune to make me suffer. Miango wanted me to subjugate the demons of our ally, Daskari, to wrest control away from that idiot Killas, but I failed. But it seems my luck is turning. You don't look like rank-and-file crusaders when I bring Minglo. Your heads, all will be forgiving, and she'll remove this brand. Eh, you should have run away when you first saw me. Faxon's eyes narrows in fear and he releases a feral shriek. It sets his gang slavering for your blood. The demons and Templars giving answering howls to the leader and surge forward to attack. Hey! Well, first of all, I doubt I have. What is what is that one? What is Firebelly? Yeah, yeah, well, that's what happens when you... Scroll of Magic Missile, Mage Armor, Haze of Dreams, you fill the enemy's heads with waking dreams. Okay. Let's click like wounds, take that out. Uh, Ray of Sickening. There. Take you away. What's the other one? Where was the one I was wanting? Haze of dreams. Hear me spill his head. Uh, wake it. Uh, remember the pleasure of delights. Okay. Trying to find Scroll of Bane. Yeah, I want you to have Scroll of Bane. Shield of Faith. Alright. Uh, I was looking for the. Okay, can you do this one? Okay, now. Okay, so. Put that on. Uh, Bone reaches level, she gains the supernatural ability, channel positive, like cleric, bless. Two strike In that two guy. Minutes.
grease that up. Dust. Create pit. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that, that failed to go anywhere. Well, let's see. That took an awful long time to get anywhere. Are you all just kind of stuck here? Okay. Well, that didn't seem to work right. Okay, let's see if we can do... Put that there now, instead of the other place. Someone just like threw a fireball? That's not really good, is it? Okay. Let's see. I thought we had something here that I could use. Glitter dust. All creatures with a 10 foot burst. There for now. Uh, what do we have behind us? Do that. Light wounds, her belt, take that. Uh, cloud of golden parks covers everyone and everything in the air, causing creatures to become blinded. I don't know if I want to do that. That you got bless on, right? Do we have bless on? I don't know if we do or not. Damn. Okay. Let's see. You are lacking. Okay. Facts on. Powers. You won't survive me. Come on now. What do we got? Let's go. No, none of those. Belt. What did I put on your belt? Scroll of Bane. All right. Now, how are you doing back here? I, I just got you back there all by yourself. We'll just, you doing okay? Alright. I forgive you. Okay. I hope you can forgive me. How do we do over here? We're doing okay? Alright, you need to cure moderate runes. Sila. We got everyone else down almost, right? Did you finish the cure moderate wounds? Thank you. Alright. Well, 
<clears throat> that one went a little bit better than I thought it was going to go. Okay. I sort glaive. Chain shirt. Heavy mace. Okay. So, i pretty much taken care of this area. Is that what they're telling me? Your character needed a failed saving throw against the fireball. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. That was not very good. But who thought they were going to throw a fireball right at their own feet? I mean, they're, they're dumb enemies, but, but that was kind of stupid. Anyone else? Ooh. Wait a minute, who has the best mobility? Uh, I'm just looking for mobility and that sort of thing. Why can I not summary? He's got a plus 10. Minus 5, not you. Plus 9, plus 10. Okay. Well, I would have thought so, but he's only got a six mobility. Stealth and trickery now. He'll get you going. Okay, let's see Doubt here. The heart's greatest challenge. Athletics. <sighs> Forget it. Really? Didn't go well, then no. I think we're going to stop trying Just to do that business. since they keep getting hurt off a DC. It's DC 12. That makes no sense. He's got like a plus 10. He's got to roll a 2. Absolutely no, it makes no sense. Made no sense. You are my favorite aid. Let's see what else we got going on here. Nat one twice? Yeah, I know, but in that one twice? Eh. I think it was you failed once and so now you're gonna fail. Every time. Ah, well, I'll have to look at that. A pale and frightened half elf looks at you warily. His face is twisted into a grimace. Ah, like he just ate something slimy. Hey, um, who are you, um, praise Baphomet? What are you doing here? Did, did Faxon send you? I heard a noise outside, but I was busy making a list of, of the relics. Did something happen? Who are you? I'm Telmer, the scribe and senior aide to Lord Zenith, the plagued one. And do forgive me, but Faxon has been assigned to this command, has he not? Where is he? What are you doing here? I'm compiling the list of the valuable, valuable Crusader artifacts. Lord Xanther has ordered that everything of use should be transported from Kinnebras and save for the looting and destruction. We choose the, chose the museum as a place to collect and sort through the trophies. Unfortunately, the local thieves have proved even quicker off the mark than the demons. They ransacked the museum in the first few hours of the assault. But there are some objects of interest among the exhibits they left behind. The museum custodian has been kind enough to advise me on those. But where is Faxon? Wolchiff sniggers. Ha! Huh. Finest thieves in Mendef. Turn your back and everything that isn't nailed down to the floor will be gone when you turn around again. The demons have no chance against them. Masters of our old trade we are. There you go again, dummy. Thieving has never led to anything but harm. Trust me, if you fought the way you thieve, now that might be useful. 
No thanks. Every person has their calling, and this is mine. But imagine if you fought as well as we thieve. Where's the museum custodian? Over in the gallery. I deceived him. I told him I was a crusader. It wasn't difficult. The old geezer's out of his mind. So tell me, where's Faxon? Um, well, he is a bad guy. And I'm an assassin of bad guys. The half-elf leaps back nimbly, pulling a sheaf of paper from his bag as he goes, No, I have valuable letters from Lord Xanthar here. I must destroy them. The cultist balls the pages up in his fist and shoves them into his mouth and begins furiously chewing like a hamster. A moment later, the half-elf's bowl eyes bulge in his o and he opens his mouth which is stuffed with uh, <laughs> masticated paper he tries to cough but nothing comes out the failed saboteur looks at you in desperation his eyes are streaming his face is growing paler by the second and he falls to his knees a strangled weeks emerges from behind him uh behind the wad of wet paper his expression veer from the, the hilarious to grotesque as he signals to you for help no i want to read what it says spit that out <laughs> want some salt or pepper with that now nah, i've never tried eating paper myself but a little seasoning goes a long way whatever the meal Oh my gosh. Help the poor wretch. Sticking your fingers deep into the hapless half elf's throat, you retrieve a disgusting ball of soggy papers. You performed a good action. Uh, the cultist coughs violently, then, after taking a trembling breath, leaps up and takes off running. He disappears, leaving you with a wad of correspondence that is that is much the worse for wear items retrieve masticated letter okay uh, boom 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 i want to see wow it has all this no no i want just is it combat would that be uh let's see Roll a one. Oh, he only had at athletics was it? I rolled a three and then I rolled a one. Back to back, horrible, horrible. Yeah, it would have been, but I could have just killed him. That would have been fine too, I guess. Uh, Ioma Day. This item was donated to the museum. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I probably need to. That seemed uh, a little too worse for the wear. Holy moly! My. Hey, tell them. Tell them the old man looking around absentmindedly shrinks away as you get closer. His head seems to shake uncontrollably, but his hands are surprisingly deft and assured as they level a magic wand that is. Stay back. Which are you, robber or demon? Hey, hey, take it easy, Gramps. So what's the way it is? Hey, you see horns and you think thief or demon? Quit scaring the old man, dummy. Have you seen your horns? They... How should I put this? Don't exactly inspire trust in a city that's currently overrun with demons. Hey, there are horns. And there are horns. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, tell them the old man goggles at you in terror, but he doesn't lower his wand. Rustling comes from somewhere behind him. Rats. 
The old man wheels around, fearfully and peers in the direction the sound came from. The hand holding the wand gradually falls to his side. When he turns back to you, there is no fear in his expression, only vague confusion. You... I'm sorry, I was distracted. What... what were we talking about? Oh my, Neon has met her match. Um... Why did the demon spare you? The museum consort looks at you, Stark and spread Demons? There have been no demons in this museum. I I've heard them breaking into the tower, but then everything went quiet. Then a very polite young fellow came along, a half-elf. He said Kinnabras was under attack, but that the Crusaders had already recaptured the tower. He said he'd been sent to oversee the evacuation of the museum. He was very pleased to find me here. I proved a very useful resource. I showed him all the most valuable reckless, explained what they were, and he wrapped them up, labeled them, and carried them off somewhere. And I've been here all this time. The old man gives a key, uh, gives the keys a satisfied shake. I locked the doors and, and stood guard to make sure no demon got it, but I've seen not a one of them. Haven't heard any either. I've grown hard of hearing over the years. The half elf is a demon worshipper. The old man frowns. What do you mean, demon worshipper? That fine young lad, so well dressed, so polite, but he said the crusade. Oh my word! The the relics. We must go after them. Uh, tell them the old man works himself into a state. <laughs> Your English is so bad. Well, you you. Dice is fine. Dice is really good. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way you uh, you type that. Bitter lamenting as he roots through his many pockets, but the outburst doesn't last long. The motion of his hands slowly. Uh, the motion of his hands slows, and the awareness fades from his eyes. He stares into off into the distance, and then looks at you. What's his lips and sheepishly inquires. Sorry, did you say something? Um, I'm not sure we're going to get anything from him. What happened here? Uh, first the bell started ringing, and then the noise of the street, then the lady dragon, Lady Tendrilla began to roar. I went to lock the door, but they were already inside, the thieves. There were seven of them, or perhaps ten. I don't remember. They were... Oh, my heart. We're talking rubbish about how they were all orphans, supposedly, and they were... And they, they were dangerous. They grabbed me and wouldn't let me go, and they looted the place. They took anything that even looked like gold on it. Relics, too. The museum boasts a very extensive collection, you know. And worst of all... They took the wand, and when they they were done, they tossed me aside like a piece of old junk. They didn't even bother to kill me. Okay. I'm going to tell them to go to the Defender's Heart. Uh, the old custodian gives you a toothless smile. Really? It's safe there? But how can I leave the museum? His gaze falls upon the traces of a ransacking and the old man becomes lost in thought as though trying to find an explanation for what he is seeing. You know what happened here, don't you? Thieves, they were, prowling about, wanted to rob the museum, but I stopped them. Those ne'er-do-wells came in here and I gave them what for? A dose of battle magic. They won't be back. Don't you worry about me. I may be old, but I can still hold my own. Tell me about the museum exhibits. The old man seems to come to life. It would like, it, it would take a lifetime to tell you all there is to know, but I'll take you on a tour of highlights, some of my personal favorites. You should have a look yourself. You won't regret it. For instance, we have a painting here depicting angels fighting demons. Now you may find it hard to believe, but in the first crusades, many heavenly beings fought shoulder to shoulder with the crusaders. And these two in the painting are Tergon and Lariel, the Silver Twins, as they were called. 
I actually met them, you know, when I was a young man studying under Master Zacharias. They had no airs or graces about them. They walked among the mortals. They spoke to us. They healed our wounds. Lady Tergona, I remember especially well. She had a special unearthly wisdom with her, within her. The angel Ariel, on the other hand, was known for his daring, and the youngest crusaders idolized him. I wonder where they are now, the twins. We don't have celestial beings in our ranks anymore. They all left something during the Second Crusade. <sighs> On a very important mission, they say, but I do love looking at this painting and remembering those days when envoys of the heavens walked among us and the light that seemed to shine from within them. The old man wipes his eyes. What was I saying? You must be a messenger. Yes, you, or are you a visitor? Why did those times end? Why did the Celestials not fight with us still? Heaven has not abandoned us, surely. Heaven is above us, far, far away. Everyone there is good, I heard, but they can't see us from all the way up there. Ember is so cute. Um, let's see something here. Okay. Okay. Are you all right? The poor old man smiles piteously and makes helpless gestures. Old age, my young friend, old age, and the poison of fear seeping into my mind. Both have turned me from a crusader and battle mage into the sorry specimen you see before you. This museum is all I have. Whenever I forget who and where I am, I just read the exhibit labels. They are the past, just like me. And now some ruffians have ransacked this place. I'm frightened, my young friend. I'm very frightened. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. All the scary things have already happened. They're in the past. What wand of the thief still? The wand of Zacharias, my master. He was a great man, the hero of the defense of the lost chapel. And those scoundrels took his wand, a relic. Ballads are you sung about Zacharias. And they're just damn thieves. Master Zacharias will return and he will assemble all of his, his students. And we'll show them. I'll show them what battle magic Teldon is made of. Fury sparks in the old man's eyes. His spine straightens. Oh! And in a fluid motion, his hands raise his wand at the ready. But a howl of rage from outside frightens off the ghosts of the past. The old man turns around and looks at you in befuddlement. You were just asking me about something. I forget what it was. Where can I find these robbers? The old man throws up his hands. I am the foggiest. They're thieves. They know out-of-the-way places where they won't be found. That's where they are. If they're still alive, but they won't be in the city. I, I heard them talking amongst themselves about how they needed to get out of Kinnebrest before the demons wiped them out. Who are you? The old man lowers his wand. I think his expression grows drought, uh, distraught and mournful as though he is on the verge of crying. I forget. His gaze falls on the piece of cloth carefully stitched to his cloak, which reads, Teldon, Tower of Estrad, Museum Custodian. Aha! I am Teldon, the custodian here. My memory isn't what it once was. My faculties are failing me. But at one time, my mind cut like a diamond. I was a battle mage, one of the few who survived the Battle of the Lost Chapel. But I'm an old man now. Sometimes... I set down my keys one moment in the next. I can't remember where I've put them. Controlled amnesia. The ability of the mind to eliminate non-essential information. Nino peers at the old man with suspicion. But what we have here is a case of plain old senility. With a pleased smile, the old man pulls a hefty set of keys out of his pocket and profoundly shows them to you. Here, here they are, my keys. Uh, my little lovelies, 
I would never give you away to anyone remembering himself. The old man hastily stows the keys back in his pocket. What are the keys for? Oh, these keys are for everything. I can open every door in the Tower of Estrad with these. The museum custodian on duty must carry these keys at all times and never be parted with them. Not even for a second. And why is that? Because the key keys were left unattended, they would be pinched by thieves, wouldn't they? Thieves would strip the museum of all its treasures. Uh, give me the keys. Out of the question. According to museum protocol, the custodian does not have the right to hand over the keys to another. I am personally responsible for the safety of the exhibits in the storeroom. Uh, trickery? Diplomacy? You know we're going with trickery, right? Yeah, there we go. I have to go. The old man's bewildered gaze follows you as you go. Okay. Now. How late is it getting? Oh my gosh, it's getting late, 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 late. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What else can we find? Because I'm a loot hobo and I'm okay. Alright. Pretty good, aren't I? Uh oh. Let's take care of that. Let's take care of this that. This is my kind of work. Near the A. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's gonna be my next thing is try to figure that one out. Oh, what was that? That was something magical. Alright. Goggles? Okay. Now we come over here. This is my kind of work. Yeah. Because we, uh much taking anything that isn't nailed down. What's that? Change her. Oh, she's changed her. Every time I see something pink, I think it's something good. Was that the only doors there? Okay. Yeah. I guess we're done down here. I always forget to hit save. I always forget to hit save. Wait, is there, is there something out here? Nope, okay. Hey, I made it this time. And that twenty. <laughs> uh, are we going to? Uh, what happens if I push this column? I don't know. Let's push the column. The mongrel did it. I guess if I was sneaky, I could have. Well, there you go. I could have, what, got up there and thrown that on them, but that didn't happen. All right. What's that there? Well, that would be that would be a trap. Come here, Wolf. Do your thieving duties for me. Yes, it just falls down. So I'm assuming that if I could have come in a different way or something, I don't know if there was a different way to come in, or if I could have been really sneaky, I could have come down here, come across here, snuck up there, pushed that down on him, which I could have tried, but I didn't. Let's see. So, yeah, I did all that just to get up there to see what I could have done. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Everybody come with me. Everybody come with me. Alright. Well, I'm thinking I've got to now. It's time to get out of here. Tread lightly. Oh. Visions of Dargana, the translucent silhouette of a winged female warrior, glow softly. You brought us back to waking. Greetings. Who are you? Not now. What? Memories. This place was created as a cradle of memory and fantasy. The things that belonged to the city's heroes were kept here. People used to come to this place to remember those heroes. And myself and the others are living memories. You woke us. So, here we are. Lots of little... Lots of things seem silent until... Oh, in, silent only until you care to listen to them. Like here, someone's memory has awoken to reveal itself to us. So you are memories of who? Of the heroes the city wished to Im immortalize. Go touch your memory. See how they remembered us. After all, this place was created so that our names would never disappear from the mists of history. The Again, you're way behind. Why are you always behind? There used to be a place like this near Netholm, land size. Quiet, calm. I used to walk among the the plinths and the pedestals one wandering the people who found the place founded the place what was driving them were they thinking about future generations how to pass down their wisdom and slow the right path or were they thinking of themselves trying to keep their names and deeds alive but then the ceiling collapsed and that place didn't exist anymore so my questions were moot I wish I could say that was not dishonored your memory. But Kinnabris lies in ruins, and we, we... But you fearlessly battle the invaders with no thoughts for yourself. You have earned no censure. We are proud of you. Right, the olden days, mortal kind. Lost, lost to the demons. Time after time after time, and now their descendants are continuing their losing streak. How could they not be proud of that? Why did you help me? A soft smile appears on the woman's face. I sensed something in you, as if you are close to me somehow, like we stood shoulder to shoulder once in the face of evil, and that we must do so again. Farewell, Vision. Farewell. The power that gives us this semblance of life is running out, and soon we will once again be but memories, living only in words, pictures, and songs. Okay, one. Where are you, Tingle Dork? Always be ready for the worst. Always be ready for the worst. Always be ready for you to always be left behind somehow. I don't know how I do it, but I always leave you behind. 